Hello guys, who here, back another video. This time around we are talking about lag in Trove. So this is not a video that's gonna explain to you uh, how you're gonna fix your lag in Trove because it's uh, straight off the bat, it's not fixable. But there's a few things you can do and I'll do that when I kind of explain how what it is and stuff like that. But hopefully this video, you'll find this video after you maybe are frustrated and you can't find it out or figure out why you are lacking on, you know, Trove and stuff like that. This might just answer a few questions and maybe make things a little bit more understandable. And at least for me, that helps when I understand it and I kind of more forgiving towards the thing that is there. So Without further ado, let's just jump into me talking about it and you'll see some random gameplay. You'll also probably see me lagging, but I just wanted to make some random gameplay and talk over all that and you guys could see what you think about it. So yeah, here we go. All right, let's talk lag, guys. So uh, what is lag and trove? Well, lag and trove is that you basically bounce around uh, a lot and it can be quite frustrating and you know sometimes the world is not loading either um so like i said i will talk about a few fixes or fixes per se but a few things you can do that is going to help it a little bit it's not going to ruin it completely because what the problem is and why trove is lacking uh, is that you can have the best computer in the world you can have the best internet in the world uh, on PS4s and, and consoles and stuff, it's the same. The problem is that in the core game of Trove, unfortunately, game is broken. So that means that, uh, you know, when they coded the game, they did it in a very old language. And there is many stories out there for how it went wrong. And how is it going to, like, why don't they just fix it? It's because it's in the core game. And as far as I've heard is that if you tamper with the core game, you know, there might be an issue because Gamago for some reason do not know the language it was coded in. They can create new things, but they can't go into the core itself and fix whatever is making the game lag, right? So yeah, uh, unfortunately we are kind of, so uh, for now we are stuck with, hopefully in the future we'll get, maybe we could get it fixed, but it's gonna require Gamago to invest a lot of money into Trove and it's just worth versus uh you know money basically how much money trove is making and you know how many people are playing it and and so on and how many well people are spending money in trove and because they have to make a profit as well and that's also why we don't see as much uh, you know as we used to but uh you know it's just it's it's doing what is doing the alternative is of course that the game would shut down so at least we have a game to play now at least we have enough money for that so um, so I, I don't know if I explained it enough, but it, it like in the core game, if you tamper with it, you might lose some stuff like, for example, the mastery system. If you lose the mastery system, like everything is gone, right? And they could go in and do things like that. I've also heard that Gamigo don't have people that understand the language and then they have to hire a person to do it. And uh, I guess they could do that. But um, then again, how big a problem is the lag itself for some people it is you know a lot of lag and, and stuff like that's very uncomfortable but now that you know that it's something that is just gonna happen and you can just chill about it i guess that maybe fixes a few things but let me explain a few things you can do to fix your game or not really fix it but you can do a few things right so what causes the lag in trove is that you know when a lot of people join a world it basically it works like a minecraft server if you ever played on a Minecraft server if if you know your friends let's say you're five people um that are uh playing a game and you're just you know in the starting area you're building houses and stuff like that suddenly one of your friends wants to go explore and then he is loading new chunks and the new chunks uh, makes the server lag because you know it has to render all the new things that had to generate and stuff like that right the same thing happens in trove so when you cram in like 25 people and they're all going in direct uh, different directions that is when you cause those uh, you know not to render and stuff like that because then the server prioritizes per uh, particular people like goes this right this 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 and then you know sometimes you're just gonna get stuck in the world and that's what happens when they renders uh, you know whatever and also why you rub a band back because you know the, the game cannot calculate you actually going 
forward and then said, oh, uh, you actually were back here and I kind of go get you back here because that's where I registered you the last time. So if it actually let you run further, it would not register whatever you were doing in, in, in there. So that's coming back to a safe point, I guess you can call it. So how are you going to fix it or uh, deal with it? It is that you just stay in the same, it's going to lag every time you join a new world. So if you want to get lag free, you just have to stay in the world as long as possible and keep farming the same because then people are going to leave and then you're going to be alone. A lot of in-game players uh, ask in their clubs for empty, empty worlds, basically. So somebody's like, yeah, here you can join that and then you like two people that's not going to lag out the game and then of course also when you have challenges going on then there's a lot of people that flood to the challenges because people want dragon coins and stuff like that so actually top of the hour and the, for those 20 minutes approximately that's when the, the lag gets the worst and also because most people go into the uh, end game worlds that's U10 for example for the geo top side it's prime worlds U9 because U9 you get your challenge is done faster and whatnot so that's really what it's all about it's all about the the flood of people and so how to fix it or fix it again it's just to stay in the world as long as possible because uh, eventually people are going to leave and then you know join other worlds or just stop playing right and then you're going to be alone so it's just if you have if you're just going to play for a whole day try to stay in the world for as long as the same world as long as you can of course and you tend it's a little bit harder because you only need to find those different places and whatnot but yeah um th that's kind of the only thing you really can do there is there's no settings there's not getting a better computer there's not better internet or anything like that it's all about the fewer people that are in there and that's also one of the problems and i don't like about for example if you use um or if you take, sorry, if you take Leviathans, right? Leviathans are in, well, U8, U9, and 10, and those are, especially U10, that's where you get the best Permatorch, and that's what people want, want right? They want the Permatorches in all their characters, or at least one. I've heard of people, you know, <laughs> going for 2,000 Leviathans, not seeing the Permatorch and stuff like that. So people are still hunting these uh, Leviathans, and when, if you were running around, you know, oh, there's only like five people in this world. Oh, that's cool. But then suddenly somebody is hunting them and then goes in and then invites everybody, right? Then you got all these people uh, that has to render and that's going to cause you some lag. Of course, these people are not really moving around. They're staying in the same place, but it still has to render all this around them in a certain radius and stuff like that for every single player that gets invited. So... That's one of my the downsides to have Leviathans is that they, of course, um, <laughs> they lag out the game because people are joining. So that's just how how they, they managed or wanted to design all of these here. So not really much more to say. I, I think I said everything I wanted to about the, the lag. Uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. If I did, you know, you can always comment down below if I missed something. But I'm pretty sure I covered everything. So just a small sum up i guess is that the core game is just broken and we don't know when if, it, if it's ever going to get fixed and then you know how to fix it is just to stay in the same world as much as possible and try to avoid uh you know u9 worlds especially uh for when there's challenges going on and stuff like that if you are you know already in the world uh, for a while you it's not going to uh, you know uh, infect you as much as it's going to be if you just join the world and stuff like that so that's why you're going to see lag in trove and i guess it's a small fix that's at least what i do i stay in the same world as much as i can in the footage you've seen i, I go all the place but i know what it is so i'm kind of cool with the lag and it just happens and you know just stay away from the things that i basically mentioned and it's going to cause a little bit it's still it's, still, it's not going to fix the lag completely of course but it's going to make it a little bit more tolerable i think so yeah anyways that was it i think i ran it on long enough about the lag i hope you guys understand i hope it gave some clarification i hope so and yeah again put them in the comments you know if there is something you wanted to ask about lag or anything about troga in, in that case and i will be happy to help you for sure so thank you again so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one bye